Welcome to this makeup tutorial. We're starting with an eyelid primer on a face that's already been prepped with a foundation. I used the Paul Penders foundation because I wanted a lighter color and I'll do a review on that later. So the eyelid primer was by Tarte. This palette is also by Tarte. It's called Tarte Light and Bloom. We're starting with the darkest color on the palette called Smoke Show. The reason I chose a warrior look for Lagertha is that's what she's becoming most well known for, is her shield bathing look. And she does have other scenes where she's more refined or more down to earth, but this is the most famous one. I'm not terribly worried about fallout here. You're going to get it and we'll be able to clean that up later. The reason I chose to go with a shadow rather than straight off with a pencil or a liquid liner is to be authentic to the look. Back in the day, all they had was charcoal. So how would they have applied it with smudge sticks? So we're smudging it on as authentically as we can without using charcoal on sticks. The first brush that I used was by Sephora. It's their Pro Smudge 11. That seems to get the color really well into my lash line. Without it being a harsh brush, it doesn't hurt at all, like usually liner brushes are pretty stiff. And the brush I'm touching up with now is the same brand, it's their Pro Bent Liner, number 23. You can get a lot of precision with that. I decided to contour my eyes a little bit with Rocker. You could use Jet Setter as well. Whether you want one or the other, depending on your skin tone, I want this as natural as possible. And now I'm using a blending brush just to blend that away. So you really cannot tell that I hardly put anything there. The pencil that I'm using now, I'm using in my waterline. That seems to have the most authentic look. If you did put something around your eyes, it would eventually bleed in. And I want this to look like I've been wearing it for a while. Now I'm going with Charmer. Usually I like a much whiter, brighter, and shimmery look in the inside corner of my eyes. But I want this to be a no makeup look because basically all she would have had was charcoal, like we said. So this is for people that have eyes that are a little closer together or like mine, your eye is a little bit inset and you don't want as much shadowing in the inner corners. You can take the smoke show all the way into the inner corners of your eyes if you like. That would still be perfect with the look. I'm finishing off with mascara and that just darkens everything up and gets the perfect darkness. The blush that I'm using here is by Bare Minerals. It's their Sweet Peach Radiance. I'm putting on the very lightest dusting because again I want this to be as natural as possible which is also why I chose the Paul Penders as my base because I wanted more of a BB cream so my skin can show through. This is a color corrector by Bare Minerals as well and it goes in a triangle shape underneath your eyes. You don't want to just put it under your eye because then you'll have the opposite of a raccoon look. But you want to pull it down into a triangle so it has that triangle of light there. This is by CoverFix, the setting powder. Be careful not to get too much like I did. And I forgot to say the mascara is by Benefit and it's called Their Real. I'm going back in to deepen and even up my brows. You certainly don't have to. Lagertha's brows are very pale, like her hair color. I wanted my brows to match my hair a little bit more as well, which is why I did that. 
This palette is by Stila. It's called Starlight Star Bright. It's a brand new one. I'm using the lightest of the highlight shades here. And just putting a natural glow on my face so it's not so very matte everywhere. So you can see these key places that I put it. I could also put it on the inner corner of my eye. So on the bridge of my nose, the bow of my lip on my chin, and around my eyes. And this is by Too Faced. It's the Sweet Maple look. I'm only dabbing on a little bit using my finger because again, I want this to look as natural as possible. And there you go, that's the final look. I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned. I will be posting another video in just a few days so that you can complete this look with the hair as well.